A Swiss technology firm says that it has the technology capable of charging an EV battery to 80% capacity in 72 seconds. That's faster than it takes to fill a small gasoline tank. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you. And if you'd like to see me live and in person meet up, you should come to Fully Charged in Sydney next year. I'll put a link in the description below to my promotion code so you can get a 10% discount on tickets to the Fully Charged show. Fully Charged, it's really the best show in the world for electric car lovers or people who are into technology. Just want to know about new technology, new electric vehicle technology, all the stuff that's happening. You'll see it all at the show. There's going to be a lot of manufacturers there as well. Plus, I'll be at the show in London in April and also at the show in San Diego in Los Angeles. Can't wait to get to Europe. Can't wait to get to the United States. It's going to be awesome. Could this be a game changer in the industry? Possibly. Maybe. Let's have a look. The Swiss technology company Morand has invented a new battery technology that it says has the ability to recharge an EV battery to 80% in only 72 seconds. This could not only revolutionize the automotive industry, but every single sector that uses batteries. I mean, think about it, right? Imagine how quickly you could recharge a phone. 20 seconds? I mean, if you think about the size of the battery pack in a phone, it's minuscule in size in comparison to the size of a battery in an electric car. This technology called Morand e-Technology and the company are making some very wild outlandish claims. I don't know if they're true, but if they are, this would seriously change the way we look at EVs. It would seriously change the way that the way that gasoline powered car lovers, what they say, their criticisms on EVs, it would change everything. Now the company says the batteries that it has will be able to last for tens of thousands of recharge cycles. In other words, they could last more than 100 years of use, seriously. Before, that's before they even begin to degrade. Honestly, reading this, it does all sound a bit a new hypercar last year. They claim that their hypercar, which is actually a plug-in hybrid, can do zero to 124 miles an hour or zero to 200 kilometers an hour in 6.3 seconds. That would make it one of the fastest cars ever built. However, they say there's an all electric version as well, which will be even faster. And apparently it'll have 2000 horsepower and be able to charge the battery in only 12 minutes because this is the, the reason that it can only charge to 12 in 12 minutes is apparently this is their old battery technology, but their new battery technology, which should be out within a few years, will be able to do it much, much faster. Now, even more incredible is this electric supercar they say that they're making can do 249 miles per hour. That's 400 kilometers an hour. How does it all work? The company's technology works by using hybrid ultra capacitor cells from the company SEC SA in combination with advanced controllers to safely achieve high levels of battery performance. I actually made a video about this kind of technology recently. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. You can hear about how that technology actually works. Independent testing by Geotechnology has shown that the E-Tech can recharge a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery to 98% capacity in 120 seconds. That's two minutes. The technology has supposedly also been demonstrated to complete more than 50,000 charge cycles without degradation, some going as high as 70,000. Now, realistically, if you had a full battery pack this size that could do 70,000 charge cycles, you, you wouldn't be able to get that many. You, realistic, even using it a lot, you wouldn't actually be able to do that many cycles in day-to-day -day use over a 100-year period, meaning this is a more than 100-year battery which could charge in only a couple of minutes. What is actually also pretty amazing is that Moran says the battery doesn't use cobalt, doesn't use lithium, and doesn't use any precious metals at all. It's mainly comprised of aluminium, graphene, and carbon. 
Now the, com the company has plans to partner with another company to produce the actual units and the company wants to ramp up production as soon as possible to lower the price of this technology. It'll be very expensive when it first comes out. But as you can imagine, everything comes down in cost when it's mass manufactured and over the period of time as well. Since this technology is claimed to last much longer than conventional batteries, in fact, it's claimed to last about a thousand percent longer, there's a decrease in long-term cost as well. The firm says this is a game-changing battery. The firm sees this technology as game-changing, and I'll have to agree if it actually works in any application requiring fast, frequent charges. These include cars, electric bikes, e-scooters, robotics, agricultural technology, defense, rail, mining technology, and many more. The company is currently attempting to scale production and seeking additional investment from partners, mentioning it wants to partner with companies that have specific or niche applications. Now, has anyone seen it work in the real world? Well, not really. It all sounds very, very promising, but that's about it. Until we actually see this technology in the real world, being independently tested by reviewers and external publications, then it's hard to know exactly if this is true or it's not true, or exactly how much this technology can be scaled to be mass produced. Now, right now, the amount of time it takes an electric car to recharge is definitely a mark against them, according to some people who say EVs are not the future still, which is crazy. But charging speeds are getting faster independent of this technology some of the biggest battery companies in the world are continuing to improve their battery technology and car manufacturers are increasing fast charging speeds almost every single year so whether or not this technology plays out the industry is heading in that direction regardless hopefully moran is able to get this technology out to the public and mass manufacture it that would be amazing I recently reported on NASA's fast charging technology and how that could change the industry as well. I believe NASA's technology though is independently verified and possibly much more legitimate than this is. So I'll put a link in the description below to that video. If you haven't already seen it, check that out. It's fascinating stuff. NASA has some geniuses working on fast charging technology, which very well may massively change the entire electric vehicle industry and once and for all make gasoline cars extinct and all the naysayers have to keep their mouths shut thank you for watching my friends and let me know what do you think about this could this actually happen have you seen my video on the ultra capacitor technology as well from a separate company claiming similar things i'll put a link in the description below to those videos but let me know your thoughts and as always have a great day Bye bye